your horizons. But wherever you go, Sag, spare a thought for when you come home, as something you learn now will prove very advantageous when autumn skies surface. Mm. Capricorn, the relationship factor is still the most prominent in your world, as the solar eclipse in your horoscopic house of partnerships means there's no let-up in your one-to-one -one affairs. Looking on the bright side, it could imply a marriage amorously or commercially. Equally, it might mean you'll have to call a halt to an affair that's had its day. Don't be afraid. Life moves on. Aquarius, glittering uranium rays entrance you psychically, honing your dull subconscious into a piercing blade of brilliant perception. You can cut through any waffle or wonderment and begin to see the light over any worries, anxieties or doubts that have blinded or bewildered you. Do you know, Aquarius, everything begins to brighten up in your life, including, most especially, your relationships. Pisces, life and birth are the twin orbs of creativity that spur you on to great things now. A baby will be born or pregnancy announced over the summer, but a brainchild will also be evident. So put any ideas or thoughts you have into the limelight as they could bring you untold success. As for leisure and pleasure, procreation and recreation, Pisces, enjoy. <laughs> We're there. Russell, enjoy uh, your recreation over the six weeks of the summer as well. I will be, but I will be back, of course, every day on Good Morning Britain at about 10 to 9. Of course you will, and we'll, Monday. See, we'll see you in September. I'll be there, kid. In the meantime, take care. Thanks very much. Watch those shorts. <laughs> Thank you, Russell. <laughs> see you in September. Right now it's time for a break. After that, a chocolatey pudding that isn't fattening. <laughs> Are we on yet? Um, yeah, they're all sat out there waiting. Right, pot shots all over this thing, huh? Okay. Watch this. <laughs> Put the rest of the adverts back on. Test bugs go potty for pot shots. It's terrific. In one week, I've lost four and a half pounds. Four and a half pounds. Give the new Slim Fast plan a week, and you'll see weight come off. I had a Slim Fast shake for breakfast, one for lunch, and a proper meal in the evening. And in one week, I could see the difference. Each delicious Slim Fast shake is a nutritious, low-calorie meal packed with vitamins, minerals, protein, and fiber. I lost over four pounds the first week and two the second. I lost five. It's a great start. Give new Slim Fast a week and see the weight come off. Ice cream like there's never been. Real cream double churned for a smoother, more creamy taste. Soft caramel and the thick, thick, real milk chocolate of Mars. It's the new Mars ice cream bar. You can't improve on a Mars, but you can improve on ice cream. Hello everyone, I'm the big new star of the big new movie, Gremlins 2, The New Batch, and here's someone very special to tell you all about it. Boy, this is a really good movie! And there you have it. So listen to Gizmo, he'd never lie to anyone. <laughs> Gremlins 2, The New Batch. These are Rivita High Fiber Cornflakes. This is some milk, I'm Doug Mole, and this is incredibly bad manners. <laughs> All next week on TV AM, we ask, what's happening in Britain's schools? Is there enough money available for their basic upkeep? Why are some desperately needed teachers being made redundant? What are the causes of truancy, and how do we stop it? Will controversial government decisions lead to racially segregated schools? And why do teachers say that new plans introducing pupil tests are unworkable? Don't miss Crisis in the Classroom, next week on TV AM. Gwyneth Dover is here again with another recipe from her book, Sweets Without Sinning. 
And just to round off this week's series of Healthy Puddings Nicely, we've chosen a dessert for the millions of us who love the taste of chocolate. There you are over there. I must just say, before we carry on, lots of you have been calling in saying, we can't get hold of the book when we want to buy it. Well, the, uh, the publishers are Sidgwick and Jackson, and uh, they're based in London. So if you have problems, Sidgwick and Jackson, in fact, just ask your local bookshop to order it. Sidgwick and Jackson are the publishers. Now, chocolate now then, dessert, without chocolate, a chocolate mousse without chocolate. This is the result, and you can vary it in many ways. Looks lovely. And it's really quick and easy to make. The ingredients are fromage frais again, our little friend fromage frais, the low-fat skimmed milk soft cheese, mixed with tofu again. Now you buy it tofu. in packets like this. Yes, now this is something I haven't bought. I, I'm intrigued to try it. S some supermarkets, but mainly health food shops. Mainly health food shops at supermarkets, and it, as you can see, it looks revolting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. However, put that in a blender with a banana. Now, don't just use... The, the tofu in the banana. Yeah, not, tofu, not, not the fromage frais. frais. Yeah. Tofu, um, the bananas, it's important to use a ripe banana because a ripe banana is mainly sugar, whereas this banana, an unripe one, is mainly starch, so you wouldn't get much sweetness, and it's the banana that will actually add the sweetness to this dessert. Right, right so a banana, the tofu, one tablespoon of fromage frais in a blender, whisk it up for about a minute, that's all, on the high speed, and you'll come out with a beautifully sweet, creamy textured, mousse-like mixture. Melt some carob chocolate. Now, this is the... The, the difference, isn't it? It's this carob is chocolate, not real chocolate. Yes. If you eat carob chocolate, like, you know, as a little, just a bite raw, it's revolting, it's horrible, isn't isn't it? don't it's terrible. Don't be put off by that. No, it's terrible. Because it, it's completely different yeah, when it it's is. In, a, in a recipe. You've got to mix it with something else, and then it will taste chocolatey, but as, on its own, it's terrible. You buy it in bars, like regular chocolate, melt it over a pan of hot water, not boiling water, because you, you run the risk of splashing into the pan and, and it solidifies. Yeah. So in a, a glass bowl or over a, a pan. some sort of bowl, yeah. over a pan of, of hot water. water. Yeah. Let it cool slightly and then you mix it with the remaining fromage frais, the tofu and the banana mixture and you get this lovely chocolatey coloured mousse. Now it's beautifully smooth, very rich and creamy and you can do lots of different that's things it, with really. it. That's it really, it's what you that's do with it. it. Yeah. That's it, it's what you do with uh, it. This one we can see, I mean you, you've obviously spent a lot of time dribbling uh, more melted carrot that's right. on, on some paper. How about that's this one? Nice, this isn't marvelous. That's beautiful. <laughs> All you do is mix a tiny, tiny bit of gelatin with the carob mixture Put it in a glass at an angle, and then against oh, the I side see. of the fridge, right. you lean it up like so that. I won't do it now, because uh, this is from our spray. That's you know, from our spray piled on the top. That's the yes, Don't yes, do that, so you, so you, you set the glass <laughs> yeah. at an angle. Very clever. And the same idea with that, except with this one, we're using a dark, melted carob chocolate with a little bit of yoghurt to make that distinction. And yeah, it, they all it look looks dramatic. And, and phyllo pastry phyllo as well. Pastry. Wonderful. Let me just read out the, the ingredients because I'm sure this is going to be a popular recipe. What you need for this chocolatey pudding are four ounces of uh, carob from a carob bar, that's sugar-free carob, four fluid ounces of firm tofu, four fluid ounces of fromage frais, and one large ripe banana, that's one that's going a bit black around the outside. And to garnish, you could use some carob curls. And uh, one portion of that is about 80 calories. Well, it's not bad. About 80 calories, and that's a wine glass full, so it's not, it's not a tiny not little tablespoon. No, not bad at all. Not bad. Well, um, I'm going to have a taste. But, good, uh, good. I think, <laughs> I think we'd better have our Friday frolic with Lizzie first, and then we'll come back and see what it tastes like. Ah, I think that looks wonderful. Now, stay fit, stay healthy over the holiday period, and till we meet again, here we go. Raise those arms. Right up. And then down. Now look after that tummy. Keep pulling it in. Remember all the exercises. And in fact, the whole body. Get out in that good weather. And circle the shoulders. Relax them. Now bend your right leg and then your left. Now make sure you're standing quite a good distance with the feet and legs apart. Bend your right and change. I can share. And then circle your left arm across your body. And change. And such desserts, we're looking after your waist as well. Lean to your right. Now hold the stretch. Just hold it there. Centralize over to your left. Hold that curve. My heart would never feel we'll get you into that bikini yet. And a good old stretch. 
step to your side, swing your arm up. Oh, at the very moment and you down. Try. Sweep it up. I shall live. Have a good holiday. Feel See you soon. You have the power to shake and over me. Thank you very much while she's exercising here am I with my pudding. It's absolutely delicious. Very creamy, surprisingly creamy. Right, time for a break now. Stay with us though, won't you? Our son passed. Is a bit nifty with a bat. run in a circle as fast as a cat when he gets a little peckish he takes off his hat with 93 percent peanuts he likes a bit of this likes a bit of that sun packed fun packed our sun pat i'll kill him when i get my hands on him if you want your body to stay as cool and fresh as the morning mist right throughout the day. Surround your body in mist. Body mist. Next week on TVAM, a lineup of stars from stage, screen and television for your summer morning entertainment. Keith Barron, Jim Whitfield and Graham Cole talk about their latest TV roles. Ronnie Corbett stars in a new stage production. There's pop favourites Bananarama, Go West, Billy Idol and from Neighbours, Craig McLaughlin storming the charts with his first single. Plus on Friday, there's Arnold Schwarzenegger to complete your exciting big star lineup next week on TVAM. Welcome back. We must return quickly to our news studio for a, for a news update from Lisa Aziz. Hello, Mike. Yes, good morning. Reports are coming in of an explosion at the Stock Exchange in London. Police say a warning was phoned in 40 minutes before the explosion, believed to be a bomb. Four ambulances are now at the scene. Of course, we'll bring you more information as we get it and they're in further bulletins throughout the day. Back to Mike. Well, thanks very much, uh, Lisa. That, uh not the kind of news item we wish to end the week of Good Morning Britain on. Absolutely not, no. TVM reports on the Sunday. Obviously, we'll carry any fresh news on, on that and all the major mm -hmm. incidents that happen in and around this mm -hmm. not-so-peaceful world of ours mm -hmm. right now. Um, on a lighter note, you've got a packed programme next week, haven't you? Have. Right the way through, loads, well, loads of guests. Well, lots of guests. We've got Anna Schwarzenegger's coming in. That would be a good one. And you're starting your summer uh, break? Yes, well, oh, that's right. I'm that not was... going to be around until the beginning of September. Third is... 3rd of September, we're back Monday 3rd of September, so make sure you join after 9 again then. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, working on the holiday programme in between now and then. No rest for you? No, no none <laughs> at all. <laughs> Have a very a good and fairly cool, if you can, weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> good morning and welcome to Yorkshire Television this Friday the 20th of July. Good morning, good morning. Fancy seeing you here. Welcome to the Summer Mornings on Children's ITV. To come this morning, we have got He-Man, followed by Inspector Gadget. Vicky the Vikings on this morning, so is the Littlest Hobo. Then, just for the record, two doses of the tube mice and then Rainbow. So we've got a good morning lined up. It should be fine Andy, and dandy. Andy, I'm Hello. so sorry that I'm late. You're late? I really am. Well, um, it's, it's good okay. morning and welcome to Every, No, everything's in hand. I've, I've done all that. What, you got He-Man, Inspector Gadget? Yeah, I've done all that. You see, I've done this kind of thing before, Jan. Why don't visited. you introduce He-Man? Oh, well, he's He-Man. Very good. <laughs> and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, by the power of Grayskull. became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe.
Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together, we defend Castle Greyskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Don't take one from the bottom. See? Nothing to worry about. With my magic touch, I knew just which one to take. Yeah! Uh, what, what, what happened? Your magic touch worked about as well as the rest of your magic. And now, we're going to have to pay for all this fruit. That fruit dealer was a little angry, wasn't he? Do you blame him? Treasures from faraway lands. Treasures never before seen. Why, it can't be. A magnificent choice, good sir. Where did you get this? I must know. Uh, that piece. Uh, let's see now. Was it in the mountains of Jasmine? Uh, no, the Crystal Sea. No, 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 that's not it. Well, you must remember, it's very important. I think, yes. Uh, the Swamps of Enchantment, that's where I found it. The Swamps of Enchantment? My father's crest. Can it be? Yes, sire. Shall I organize a search party? No. If my father is still alive, it's up to me to find him. Prepare my Wind Raider. Uh, forgive me, sire. I know how you feel about this, but I can't let you go alone. If you won't take a whole party, at least let me accompany you. Very well, Duncan. We'll do this together, and may the ancients grant us success. This fruit is great, Orko. But don't you think you bought a little more than you need? Well, I wasn't exactly planning on this much. Orko. Orko. Is Adam... There you are. Oh, come in, Mother. Have a piece of fruit. Please! No, thank you, Adam. I'm worried about your father. I thought he and Man-at-Arms were on a friendship mission to Gamelon. That's what I thought. But then I found this. Hmm. Huh. Hey, this crest looks awfully familiar. It should be. It's King Miro's. King Miro's? Who, who, who's King Miro? King Randor's father. And my grandfather. Hey, he vanished many years ago. Before you even came to Eternia, Orko. The story was that he had been lost in a battle with his evil enemy, the Enchantress. But Randor never believed it. He always felt that Miro was still alive, somewhere. Somewhere like the swamps of enchantment? What makes you think that? Well, that, that's where that wristlet came from. At least that's what the peddler told Man-at-Arms when he bought it this morning. Are you sure about that, Orko? Well, I was with him. Man-at-Arms was pretty excited about it, but he wouldn't tell me why. Would you like me to go after them, Mother? Yes, do it, Adam. Perhaps I'm being just a bit silly, but I have a bad feeling about this.